Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I'm back, trying to get back into Gwent. I've uh, I took a I took some time off, man. My uh, my health was not very good. <laughs> I actually went to go get blood work today, so um, I was just in bad shape, man. I just had to de-stress and just try to focus on getting better, man. But I'm, I'm I've been feeling pretty good. Um, I think I can, uh, I think I can do like three videos a week. I think that sounds pretty good. Um, I'm loving the new set. Um, I created this day one. Always got to go with Nilfgaard. I uh, went with some Imposter. I'll go through the cards a little bit here. Uh, it's a ball deck. We got uh, also too, uh, I believe this is Jean from uh, the dev team. Uh, if it is, man, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. This is this card's awesome. I love it. Uh, when you play this card, you have to make sure that you... When you hit the zeal order, it plays it in this order. So whatever you want to lock, you lock. Whatever you want to poison, you poison. Whatever you're spying, spying. It goes in that order. So you want to try to play it with three cards. And then uh, it, it, it it's also an engine, so it starts going up a little bit more. Um, you know, if you got three things on it, it'll jump up three. If you got, you know, four or five, usually you're gonna have like two or three max. But um, great card, I love it. Uh, it's also an aristocrat, so it procs your ball. Uh, battle stations. This card, another one, just full blown bananas. Um, some of the things you can do. You play two bronze cards, you can draw two bronze cards. Now, granted, you could try. You know, you gotta have the the cojones, <laughs> but you can play double blight maker. Um, you could possibly draw into the mage assassins, but if you play this out and they don't draw them, um, it's like 22 points or something like that. It's 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 almost a a coin flip eraser. Um, love the card. Um, pretty much that's the only newer cards I got in here. But um, oh, and the this one the the Cataronia. So it's flanking, so it's got to have stuff on the sides of it. Um, order poison a non-poison unit with at least one status at the end of your turn. Gain a charge. Um, charge one. Uh, it it can get a ton of value. Um, the way I've I've been trying to set it up is is like it. it I don't mind playing these two like Philip and uh, this. As like a one-two punch combo, because this one will, if you get three on something, it can poison. Um, and then you could poison the other one first, and then play the Vincent, or the Philip, you know, and they could just kind of like one-two punch pretty much everything. So they have to deal with it. Um, but what I've been trying to do is I'll like, usually I can win round one, or if they're trying to bleed me round two. I can usually hang pretty good with the poisons if they try playing big boy stuff. Um, but I'll play. What I usually do is try to play the ball, and then if it looks like they're trying to like play around it and play small stuff or just play, you know, stupid things, um, you know, you could play like, you know, just a regular poison. Just poison something that you don't really want to because you do have two uh, fangs of the empire. These servants you could play if something's locked or poisoned you could flip it over to something else these don't trigger the ball so you're good there I uh, got a couple emissaries in here just to try to protect the the Philip or the you know the the Cataronia 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 that's what I'm going with I mispronounce everything welcome to the devil driven channel that's not it's not the dictionary channel uh, we got Roderick in case we got to try to find ball if we didn't draw our golds. If it looks like they're going big, you know, you could start dropping thirsty names. They are kind of your only engine, per se, besides Jean. Um, so that gets a little awkward, but um, usually what I try to do is, if, if, if at all possible, I, w I can win round one. Um, we also got in here Vincent, so, you know, you can imposter, last say, something big, and then, uh, Vincent it. Vilgefortz is in here as well for a big boy answer. Um, 
and is in here to get the leader ability back which is always really good um just something proactive if you don't really want to poison something you can grab something up and then we also got the double locks with the hunters so uh pretty fun deck you know i think it would it's going to do well against the augroid deck um i go up against uh the first game i go up against uh skellige which was a pretty good game i think i played this one pretty well and then i played a syndicate friend and they <laughs> Oh, it's back, man. I, I, I love this game so much, man. I just, I love it. Um, If you got a moment and you just sat through all this, please uh, upvote the deck guide, please. It'll help me out a lot. I've been uh, out for a while, so I'm, I was buried in the algorithm before, so I'm really buried now. So uh, if you like what you see, hit a thumbs up. You guys are wonderful. I will see you at the end. All right, so... Hmm. What will we get here? Well, we're getting rid of the two Vlads. Okay. The locks can be huge. The informant can actually be huge. But do I want that? This is possibly an extra poison or lock. I think I dropped this. I save it for the the ball. Okay, so we drew the ball. We got the double stations. All right, so we want to try to keep this alive. <clears throat> so this is a poison. It's got to be a non-poison. It's also a purify, which is pretty clutch. Um, damage five. Okay. Um, I mean, we want him to get the damage out now, right? So he'll use one of the leaders. I didn't have any way to buff it, unfortunately. Next, we'll use this. We'll get the blight maker out. Maybe an informant. If it already has a status, we can lock it, which is huge. But has more than one status, we could poison it. So he's got to deal with both of these. We can also get the leader back, and we got three options on a thing if we get in a really, really big pickle. So he's going to use his leader ability. Okay, so he went back row with it. That's fine. So he'd rather deal with the locks. Oh, wait. We want to go double. Alright, so we get this. This. Okay. Uh, go here. Grab up the Vlad. That sucks. Alright. That's pretty good. 14, we're gonna lose these two. I can poison that, but I mean, it's just a one. I guess I, I gotta try to get this. Whenever a card enters the graveyard, damage a random enemy unit. Okay, so we want to make sure these stay alive. Um, he might be running out of damage, you know. I can grab both of these and poison something big. If it's possible, I might even try to get out of this round. Because he did use a leader charge. <sighs> he 
left this live, which is... So he's got... Oh, this is going to do damage every time this something dies here. So... We could pass here, right? Because this triggers after, right? I guess he could just go for the tie. I have ball, which is huge. I have a lock. I have two locks. I have three locks with my leader. I think he always goes for it here. That's cute though. I like this little combo here. Oh shit. So he thinned pretty good. He thinned really well. He thinned everything. Alright. So he gets his Blood Eagle back. He's definitely Devotion. Uh, but Vincent can take that out. That's a good pull. This is good. Do I want to get rid of this? I don't really have any engines. Okay. We still got Anna, which is nice. Vilgaforts. So these are guaranteed. I could pick whichever one I want. <clears throat> the good thing is we'll be able to lock the engines. We got a pretty good amount of locks. And we also have Vilgaforts for a huge answer. Maybe even Anna. Okay, and let's see what he plays. Well, that's so he wants to res that with what's his name I really don't see him going past this just a card he wants in his graveyard right he doesn't bleed me here right um is there any other card we want to play no right All right, so the resilience, give an allied unit armor. So is he going to have, like, the dueling guys? Would that be what he goes with? All right, so I think this is our hand. I mean, Anna gets pulled here. I mean, it'd be nice to have another lock, but this is the hand. He's devotion, so he has no way to really answer the ball. I've got I've got technically three big answers because I can lock whatever and Vincent can take it out if I need something to go down so we play the ball he's more than likely just gonna use his leader charge here I have two poisons out of hand. I have Purify if he's a defender friend. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. All right, that. I really don't want to lock that, but I can also... Is that, is that worth my lock? Probably not, but I'm just going to do the regular poison on it. And I'll cup bear it. I would imagine he would start doing like some other shenanigans. I also have another poison here. And a lock. 
So I think I play this later on. He's got to have something that's... Alright, so there's one lock. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, he wants to do that. Okay. That's totally... F yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we... Actually, that's our target. And... Do we just lock that? And save our poison? Nah, we just poison. That seems fine. Next, next we get our thirsty dame down. We can also do leader if we need to. This is also a lock if he goes with another status. We miss out. I... Terror of the Sea. Really? Well, let's... See, we're going to proc this. I mean... So this goes down. I mean, if we're going to do that, we just automatically play this, right? What sucks is the only other engine we have is Admiral. This is nice. I get the double poison here. I can wait on it. If he plays an engine. We have this lock. This kills something big. I don't think we kill this because he's going to have... Well, Fikusha doesn't res this no more, right? So we put the we just put the statuses on here, right? We go here. Lock and poison. Get a seven. They get two. That's not bad. I think we leave this up for a minute. Cause I think I think they're gonna find a way to res that. And I don't I don't really want to deal with it. We do have Anna and six points, which is nice. So he's going to kill this. With the charge, champion's charge. Okay. What's this? Melee clash, okay. So they have no way to bring that back, right? So we just play the Anna. We go back row. We just kill this. So we have a leader. We gotta get this down here pretty soon. I still think we're gonna... Because this is really our only engine left. <laughs> Which is scary. So that doesn't do anything else now. Um, I think we got to get this down. Do we have another poison? We can lock it, right? We go lock, poison, spine. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna hurt if he has It's only growing one. Okay, that's So we lock that. Okay, so now Vincent can kill this. 
He loses 13. Oh, they both do it. Oh, okay, so we get both of them. That's beautiful. All right, so we go here. Take out this one. That's crazy. Highest armor. What is the armored car card in his hand? Him having the answers for these for the thing was rough. He's gonna lose a twelve. The question is, what is in oh So he loses the twelve. something small played next to a ship okay so we kill that though sixteen what's his finisher he needs eleven twelve Woo! that was nice that was real nice good game all right let's try one more Oh, oh, I haven't played or Syndicate yet. I'm sure it's all kinds of shenanigans. Oh, we got the good coin. Uh, we get rid of this. Do we copy? Do we get a spender? We don't really need a spender, right? Where are we getting coins from? Uh, all right, that's fine. I think we play this outright and see what happens. Or do we play this? Oh, it's doomed, then locked, then poison. It's a little bit slower. We want that with the ball. <laughs> Play two cards next turn. We'll probably play a blight tax collector. Uh, let's get it out. Let's see what happens with it. We'll, we'll go for the poison and see what happens. We'll go. We'll double up. We'll play battle stations. We could go. Hunter and Blightmaker. I'm not sure what they're playing. That's the thing. Like some of the other decks, I've seen some like the the Augroid deck, and I've ran into a couple Skellige decks. So let's create. That's a good spender. He's gonna use all his coins. That really hurts. That's I mean that's okay. We could let's Let's just do it now. If he wants to use up all his big stuff, we can go doomed and then lock. This really hurts though. I'm next turn we gotta go the double. This card's crazy. I mean, it's just crazy. I've had a couple where I've been able to do double Blightmaker and get, like, I think it's 18 and 4, like 22 points in one turn. The only problem is you don't play the cards. You, you play them and draw at the same time. He's wasting a lot of coins, though. I guess I get rid of his spender. He's got to try to kill this, right? He doesn't. Really? He uses his leader. I don't think that's correct. Alright. I don't think using your leader was right. Uh, we go this, then this. Okay, that's fine. So we lock. Few dare into the 
this guy. Hopefully we hit his other spender. That would be fantabulous. Hey! Alright, so then I can move this to this. Lock it. That's nice. I also have an option for Vincent. Him using that leader is pretty pretty rough. Uh, I think we lock his. Now this is a good chance for him to pass. Be smart. I can even still use this, I think, and I'm not that sad. I mean, I still have all my little engines. I can use his leader ability. So that's a boost. Knickers, too. Honestly, I think I'm going to punish him. I'm just going to go for the full out Admiral. These go in order. Lock, poison, spying in that order. So you always want to do your poison second time around. If he doesn't, I'm just going to use the Vincent. I don't see him having... I mean, the Defender's not going to be that great anyways. So this is great. I get to lock that. Alright, so here we go. Haymaker's coming. We're going to click. Lock. Poison. Fine. And then this is going to keep growing. There's a lot of statuses down. I still have this option. I can even still use the Vilga Forts. It's going to gain two a turn. What do you think, dearest? He's going down a card. Wait. No, he's not. Um, we could still play this. Thirty-six. If he plays something monstrous, we're gonna Vilga Forts it. This could always get pretty big too. He's gotta play boat too, right? Bincy. So that's gonna get six a turn and the boat. Do I do it? Problem is, if I do it, I gotta use it on this, but... What's gonna get more? This is gaining one a turn, whenever you gain coins... ...ranged... ...for each coin gained. So they're gonna... They could play something crazy here. This... Neither one of these is doing anything without the engine, so... This gains for whatever they get, so... And this is still growing. I can kill this. I can even leader this. And just... Vincent that. Ah, candle. So now he's going to spend like crazy. So... We lock this with leader. That should do it. No way they keep going. So then I could just... I guess he could destroy this, which would really hurt. He's gonna keep going. So he's looking for the destroy. It was right on top. Does that get him there though? Good luck. Too much, eh? 
Yeah, but I... This gets me there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We just... I mean, we just play until we... We get all our... Oh, never mind. <laughs> all right. Good game. Hey, that's the video for today, guys. A short one. Um, just getting back into it. I uh, had a little bit of uh, recording issues. Nothing new there if you've been around the channel long enough. So I'll uh, try and get another video out tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you can't upload the video, I've been out for a while. So the exposure is nice. You're all wonderful. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>